Hi everyone, welcome to the cold form distill tutorial using S3D. I'm Daniel Vivas, Product Manager of SkySip Engineering. And in this tutorial, I will guide you to the process of modeling, analyzing, and designing a cold form distill structure using S3D. Remember that you can find more information about cold form steel and many more topics in our documentation. So let's get started. Remember that cold formed steel is an important construction material known for its versatility, strength, cost effectiveness, and it is widely used in various applications such as residential, commercial, and industrial buildings. So let's start a new project. We will start with the process of creating nodes in S3D. These nodes represent where the structural members intersect or connect. So by accurately defining these nodes, we ensure the proper connectivity of our structure. I will create my first node using this 0, 0, 0 position. So I will apply it. You can see that the node is already created. I can create all my nodes from this form, but actually have all my data in this Excel file. So I will copy, open this data sheet, paste it, and I will apply it. So you can see how simple it is to create nodes having all the information. You just have to paste it here and that's it. Now that I have my nodes created, I can start creating all the members. So I can use this form to create them. I can just put the node IDs. I can click on apply and you will see that a new member is created between these two nodes. I can also use the data sheet as I showed you before. I can copy and paste this information here. But actually, what I will do is that I will use this pen tool that will help me to create new members just by clicking on the nodes. So you can see how simple it is to create members using this new pen tool. What I will do next is that I will duplicate this frame. So I can do this by just selecting all the members, hitting Control A, and also I can go to operations and click on repeat. Also, you can hit control D. You can define here the number of repetitions. And this is, in this case, is four, every four meters along the Z axis. So I'll click on submit and you can see how all my information is replicated. What I will do next is create materials and sections. I can do it from these forms. But actually, what I will use is something called Section Builder, that is a SkySip product. In this case, I can select database shapes. I will choose the American, the AC, and I will choose this section, for example. Now that I have my section, I can modify its material, dimensions, and more fields. But I will leave it like this. I can calculate this section to see all the properties, moment of inertia, section modulus. And I will submit this section. You can see that now we have this section in the model. If I click on here, you will see that it has this material, the structural steel. So by default, all these members that were unassigned will have this new section. So if we go to the 3D renderer, you will see that all the members will have this new section that we just loaded in our model. Now I will create the portlings. So what I will do first is select these two members and I will do right click, split members. I will divide them in four parts each. Now I will create one member using the pen tool Now, what I will do is select this new member. I will hit Ctrl C. Now I will select these new nodes. And I will hit Ctrl V. And now I have my portals created. The next step will be creating these X bracing members. So I will create members in the walls and also on the roof. 
so I will use the pen tool for this task. I can select all of these expression members and convert them to trust so they will not transmit moment to the other members where they are connected. So I can click on apply, I do yes, and you will see that these fixities will appear above of these members. In this case, I will create more members to finish the geometry of our structure. Now I have finished my geometry and I will proceed creating more sections and materials. I will use the same process that I showed you before. Just assign materials and sections using this section builder. The next step will be assigning these sections to the members. So in this case, I will select these four members. And this member. And I will assign this section too. So I just have to select here the section and here on apply. I will repeat this process. If I go to the 3D view, you will see here that now my, all of my members have sections defined. Let's apply some loads to our structure. In this case, I will apply an area load in this side of the roof and also another area load in this other side of the roof. I can Define my area load one way. I just have to put the corner IDs. Uh, in this example, it will be 22. Let me rotate this a little bit 22, 23, 3, and 2. The pressure magnitude will be minus 0 0.25. Along the, along the y axis, the direction will be this way so actually I will leave this uh, these notes like this and the log group I will leave it like that I can modify the, the name I can put live load or something else but I will leave it like that and I will apply it you can see that these error loads are created actually when you create it maybe you will not see it like this You'll see it like that, but you can go here to the visibility settings and activate this equivalent area load. So you will see the result. Now I will create this area load in this side of the roof. Now I will create a wind load using area loads. This will be along the x-axis, the direction will be this direction, so I can define for example this node and this node. So I'll put 20 to the 19 node, and this will be a win load, so I will leave it like this. I'll put this name, and I'll hit on apply, and you can see that my error load is created. I will also define a point load in this a node. So I can go to point loads. I can define this node ID. In this case, is number eight. The y magnitude will be minus 1.5 kilonewtons, and this will be a dead load. So I can put this name, and I'll hit on apply. Remember that you can put any name that you want in this field. So I'll hit on apply. And you can see that all my loads are created.
let's define now our supports in this case I will select all of these ground nodes that I defined I will select them I can double click in this field so all of my nodes that are selected will appear here and in this case I will select the 3D pin support it depends on the type of structure that you're modeling so in this case I will use these 3D pin supports I'll hit on apply and you can see that all of my supports are created let's now define our load combinations I will click on design codes and I will use this design code that we already have in our database so I'll display these load combinations and if you remember these are the load groups that we created when we were creating all of our loads in our structure so this dead load will correspond to dead so it is correct this is correct and this win load will be a win load in the standard so all of this is correct so I will import these load combinations now you can see here that all of our load combinations are loaded so I'll click here and apply in this example I will use the load combinations that we just defined and I will use the two last combinations as serviceability and the reason is because we need to calculate some values when we are going to design the structure so the program will ask for these serviceability load combinations but remember that in your specific case you need to define these load combinations correctly so we will leave it like this for this example I will activate the self weight for all of our members I will click in this on button you will see that this gravity is minus one so it is correct and I'll hit on apply now that our structure is finished I can solve it you can choose one of these scenarios in this case I will choose linear static it will solve our structure so now we can see the results now let's check the results that we obtain from our model here you can select what load combinations to check so for example if I check the reactions it will show me the reaction for this load combination if I modify it you will see that these values will change in my case I will use the envelope max you can also check the share results the moments the actual results and many more information for example the displacement and also from this information you can create reports so you can see that actually here what load combinations to to check and develop cases log groups and log cases also what information to include in the report so after you select all of this you can click here on create report it will take a couple of seconds to create this so it will tell us when it is finished now that it is finished we can view the report we can check that we have different information here for example let's check the supports you will find a lot of information here so you have the bill of materials and the results for the log combinations that we just selected and check more information here the no reactions for example and you can download this report as a PDF or as a HTML document in this case and download it as a PDF and that's it now let's design our structure I will start a new code I will choose member design I will use this AC design code so this will open the member design in this case as I work with the metric system I will change it to imperial system since metric is not supported by this design code I will solve my structure again I 
I will design it. Remember design the AC. Now I can check here more information about my structure, the factors, members, parameters, forces. But I will leave it like this and I will check. So it will design my structure. So now, as you can see, I have the report of all of my members. I can also here check the, the reports for each member. It will give me all of the information, all of the calculations of my structure. And I can see here why this is failing. So I can have more information about all the design in these reports. I can also download it as an HTML or as a PDF. So you have completed the cold form steel tutorial using S3D. I hope this tutorial has provided you with valuable insights into the process of modeling, analyzing, and designing cold form steel structures. Feel free to explore further and apply your newfound knowledge to your own projects. If you have any questions or need assistance, our team at Skysive Engineering is always here to help. Thank you.